Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Tuesday the 9th of April and we are venturing out for a walk. Oh, it has literally rained non-stop all day. So it's around lunchtime now, about 12 o'clock and we're just kind of venturing out now. So yesterday I didn't post a standalone video because really there was nothing to show. We it, again, it was just awful. Wet, windy, rainy, muddy. We walked a mile down the main road, which I've got to say, Jeff absolutely hated. We don't have the main road, as you've seen. And yeah, I, I, sh I should have thought, really. The poor thing, every time a truck went past, he jumped a mile, scared, um, the noise and the traffic. So, yeah, that wasn't great fun. So we kind of walked, um, I don't know, about three quarters of a way mile down the road and then we just turned back and then I carried on around the camp to finish my two miles. Um, so we did it, we did the steps, we got the miles in, but it wasn't a fun walk and it certainly wasn't of anything of note to share with you. I took some footage by the river on camp unbelievable how much higher in 24 hours it was it, um, and again this morning it's up even higher again and even more of the field is flooded so it's sort of a pathway where we would walk alongside the river and that's underwater completely now um, so yeah but we're out as of now I'll put those little clips in here and then you can see those little clips from yesterday Can you see that tree in the middle of the river? That obviously should be on land. Everywhere it's just burst its banks. And these fields here usually have a lot of sheep in them, cows. These were the fields Jeff and I had planned to walk across today to get to that bridge over there. But yeah, I just couldn't do it. You can see my evidence of my walk, but the sun's come out. So it looks like we're gonna get a break in the rain. So here we go, this is Tuesday's walk. Hamlet, I don't know what you would call it. Um, and yeah, it's all country lanes again. And theoretically, we would come back round in a loop back to the caravan. However, to do that, and which I would ordinarily do, we have to cross over three fields and alongside the river. And as you've seen from yesterday, it's just not possible. going to turn around and come back home again. We're already a mile in, so just to get back will definitely take us over our daily um, goal. So yeah, we'll just see how far we go. This 
a little moment of joy in the hedgerows there. We've got cow parsley, and we've got bluebell. Well, some days you just have to look a bit harder, don't you? I'm trying to get um, a shot of to show you how bad the water is. So can you see down there at the bottom of that tree? That is a sty, a stile, that Jeff and I would normally cross and then we would walk along this field here, over the path, along the field, along the field and up the banks there. But all of it is just underwater. It's absolutely colossal. It's mad for me to see because all my usual paths and walks are on the water, which is crazy. Over there in the far distance is our caravan. As I say, we would normally just walk across the fields there. Not today. Unbelievable. I know from my own very tiny perspective with having the allotment it's having an impact you know and we're having to re-sow seeds because they've just flooded out or rotted and yes I can redo that. Oh this car coming. I've got time to do that in the season and if I don't really doesn't matter does it? It's just a bit of garlic or a handful of peas for Sunday dinner. I'm not dependent upon it. My, my livelihood isn't dependent on it. And whilst we are trying to be self-sufficient in many crops from the allotment, that is our goal. We can't be self-sufficient in everything, but we can be self-sufficient in some things, you know, and that is my ultimate goal with the allotment. We don't want to have to buy bagged salad again. We don't want to have to buy strawberries again that are out of season and imported and in a plastic tub but ultimately if my crops fail it doesn't really matter not in the grand scheme of things i've heard of garlic farmers when they've planted their bulbs already now the crops have just rotted away and that's their whole season gone their whole season gone that's their whole livelihood for that season it I, I just really really upsets me and worries me and of course the impact is going to be on you and I isn't it the cost of living, the food price crisis is only going to be impacted by that because what crops they do have because of their scarcity almost are inevitably going to go up aren't they I don't know, I don't know what the answer is I don't think this is a one-off. I think it's just going to continue. Sorry, I keep looking behind. We're on this lane and it's a single track lane, but cars do come up it both ways. So I'm just being quite conscious of Jeff and I. Anyway, despite all that, I'm having the most glorious walk. <laughs> I um, It feels lovely today, actually. The wind's cold, but you know, I've got a woolly hat on wrapped up in a hand-woven woolly scarf. I could have done with some mittens at time, which I'm cross with myself, because I do have some back at the caravan. My cheeks are a little bit chilly. Oh, hang on, bloody great tractor. What does that farmer not know? I'm Shropshire's premier vlogger, and this lane is for vlogging upon, not driving a ready great tractor. <laughs> yeah, what have we seen? That's Let's not talk about worrying crop failures and cost of living. What have we seen? I've seen cow parsley. In fact, there's some here now. Should I show you turn you around? Hang on. Yeah, I've seen cow parsley. 
I have seen goldfinches, loads of them. They always come in a little group, don't they, goldfinches? I've seen goldfinches. I've seen more wild mistletoe. I've seen bluebells. I've seen a red kite, which is just magical to me. What else have I seen? I've seen oh, all sorts of other birds, like crows and things like that. But it's the first time I've seen goldfinches this year. What else have I seen? So many things to be joyful for. It's not all doom and gloom out here. That is the hill we walked up for the day and into the woodland at the top there. So we're walking at the bottom of that today. Isn't it lovely? I've absolutely no idea where I am, but this lane just looked too inviting to walk down. I wasn't particularly inspired to come out for my walk today, but oh my goodness have I enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. I'm really starting to recognise and acknowledge the benefit this has happened to me and the health and well-being. You know, I pushed myself to come out today, so I didn't really feel like it. Ha, ha, ha. 